I mean, fair. I'm gonna because be because according honest. to Greek myth, when Typhon attacked Olympus, the Greek gods ran to Egypt for sanctuary. Hmm. So Zeus rolled up on Ra's pad and was like, "Hey, bro, can I can I shack up here for a bit?" Okay, like, I'm gonna Hades just is depicted as a bad guy because of, but honestly, aside from the whole Persephone thing, which arguably, depending which depiction on it, he's still kind of. It's not even Zeus his told, fault. Zeus told him it was okay to do that. Yeah, but not because that's what Zeus would have done. Because that's what Zeus did. Yeah, because that one is what Zeus would have done. That's a good. That's a good point. Ladies, <laughs> uh, the socially awkward <laughs> older brother. Hey, bro. Um, you seem to know your way around women. Oh yeah, I know all about the. the <laughs> Anything with less than six limbs, a hundred percent. I know all about that. <laughs> uh. Anyway, I'm gonna step out for a bit and work right. on some artwork for a bit. Okay. All right. <laughs> See y'all. Have fun. Y'all. You know what was re you know what was kind of refreshing on the topic of Greek myths? Hmm. In the um, in the Fortnite season that's currently up, the Greek mythology themed one, they they made Zeus the villain. Good. Hades is in it. And, like, you know, Hades isn't a hero figure, but he's not vilified in any way, and that's really refreshing. Because, like, the story of the season is that Zeus is really, really angry and wants to destroy all of humanity for some reason. Oh, dear God. It, oh, Zeus getting pissed about something and wanting to punish people, like, in, like, without reason. Dear God, I wonder where I've heard this story before. Hi, Prometheus. How's your liver? <laughs> Yeah, and we, um, basically we're working with, over all the gods they could have chosen to stand against him, we're working with Aphrodite to basically get the other Olympians on our side. Easy. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> also, oh, Poseidon, is a, <laughs> Poseidon is a slurp creature, like Ripley. Jesus Christ. I'm not even kidding, I'll find an image of him for you. Fucking, okay, here's the thing. Hermes would be the easiest one to convert because he basically came out of the womb and went, I'm gonna I'm gonna ruin Zeus's whole fucking life. Would... Fuck that rat fuck bastard. He he knocked up my mom and he didn't even call her. Okay, are you ready to see what Fortnite Poseidon looks like? I don't think I have a choice. Fuck! God damn it, why can't Ghost of Tsushima just come out now? Isn't it coming out in like a half hour? Yeah, but I want it now! <laughs> this is Fortnite Poseidon. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, Vlad, you're, uh, you're a connoisseur of the Animu, right? I mean, I'd like to think so. I'm currently watching very, very vehemently uh, Kaiju Number Eight because that show's based as fuck. I need to check that out. I really it's need so to check good. that out. It's so good. Uh, I want to show you an impulse buy I just did. Riley, let me let me ask you a question. What? Do you, it, for Kaiju Number Eight? Would you like a main character who is in his like early 30s and is watching all these these fucking hyperactive like young adults going through and doing all this shit? And he's like, God damn it! They don't know. They don't know what it's like to have your your metabolism wrecked at 28. <laughs> Royal Paladin, yes. I'm trying to long jump glitch across the stairwell. It's a mood. Mm. Actually, hey, oh, uh, nice. what? Hmm. I want I want to do I want to do a little test. Okay. Apart from the obvious one and the one I already told you, who is who in this image? In one image. Hold Zeus, on. Poseidon, Haiti. So going from left to right, Poseidon, the goo. I'm guessing that that's either Aphrodite or Demeter. Zeus. Damn it! No, back no, there. Side flip. I guess. Iris, Hades, Cerberus, and Medusa. 
And Korra. And then, and then Korra. <laughs> and then Korra. Like, that's why I said, Korra. aside from the obvious. So, um... The lineup in this image... No... From left, starting with Poseidon. The one above Poseidon is Artemis. Oh, okay. The purple moon, I should have guessed. The guy with the lightning bolt is Zeus. The woman in the middle is Aphrodite. Okay. The guy... The guy in the mid-right is Hades. Alright, I give up. And Cerberus is to the right of them, and above them, that is Medusa, yes. Medusi. Gotta get that Medusi. Really um, cool designs. I don't know why Zeus has... Like, a grenade sash? He's got a bandolier for all the buckshot he's gonna be blasting, and all the... Bouncing beauty yeah, like, of, of the rip. I noticed that like specific ones like Artemis, Cerberus, and Zeus all have this sort of military vibe to them, which is cool. It's fine. It makes sense for the game. No, listen, I'm, I can tell you exactly why he's got that bandolier. I don't know why I went there? Mm -hmm. He's got a bandolier for all the buckshot he's going to be blasting and all the bouncing beauties of the rift. <laughs> I'm going to do one more thing in this game, and then I will just call it that. Because there, there's no way I'm going to be able to beat this game in time, trying to collect all the stars. Like, as is, it's already broken. Hang on. Let's see if it's doable to... You going for the 100%? No. Are you kidding me? A line pro Mario. There we go. There we go. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember what other... I'm trying to remember what other characters they brought from the Greek myth. Like, I know Perseus is there, because he was part of a level-up quest. Pack bundle of course. thing. You gotta get Perseus, founder of and Athens. And though there was also Apollo. They put Apollo in there. He rotates in and out of the Zico, shuffle. Zico, I there. would, except I can't find Yoshi anywhere. <laughs> oh, you'll get a kick out of this, lad. Um, so, Nike. <clears throat> the goddess. Yes. She was going to be a Fortnite original character, but then Epic realized money was a thing that existed, and now Nike is a fucking Nike-sponsored character. That... It looks tacky, it fucks up the whole aesthetic, and I'm Man, pretty sure nobody bought it. I can't wait to see the fucking Nike, the Nike sponsored Nike skin, just like the Adidas sponsored Adidas skin in fucking Spider Man 2. It's always time for a Miles original. I hate that outfit. I, I'm sorry. I thought it was time for a Miles original. Hey Miles, <laughs> um, could you, hey Miles, could you do the Miles original from the fucking Spider Verse? Because you know, it doesn't hurt my fucking eyes. Hey Miles, can you do the Miles original and not have Killmonger's fucking haircut? Yeah. It's like, can you also, do the Miles? Can you have a Miles original and make a really cool-looking suit? Also, and not whatever uh, this tank is supposed to be. Big, big props to Ubisoft for not giving Yasuke a fucking Killmonger cut. Big, big props. Big ups there. Uh, <laughs> still fuck you, Ubisoft. Still fuck mm. you, Ubisoft. If it's this may be the path to redemption, but it is a long and winding road, and one it's slip will send road. them. Right. It will send one slip up will send them right back into the pit for me. Yeah, because otherwise I would have been like, you know, you could also fix up a couple of problems on Uno, but no, they're not gonna bother. After all the shit that came out about them in 2020, I'm just like, yeah. Your path to redemption will be long and arduous, and if you fuck up Yasuke, literally the whole black community will lynch you. <laughs> oh, and that recent comment from one of the bigwigs saying, uh, gamers have to get used to not owning not their games. Yeah, fuck yeah. you! You know? Yeah. Cause I, I don't remember asking your fuck-mothering opinions, smarmy yeah, corporate. Yeah, I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing! Did it? Like... People need to get used to not owning their games. Oh, just like you need to get used to not being able to peddle your shitty NFTs as actual in-game cosmetics. Oh! Mm. Right. Also, if buying isn't is like if buying isn't owning, then pirating isn't stealing. Like Thank if they want to play that game, game fine. Is like fucking. If they like, if they want to say that shit, fine. I'll play by your rules. I get. It's like I get to s decide that this is a perfectly okay thing to do. What the fuck are you going to do about it? You Dying know what would isn't be owning. Hilarious? 
Because apparently, um, I found out that, of course, you would have to have a Ubisoft account if you want to play something like Uno or something. You can't have mm -hmm. your own avatar because apparently people were using NSFW pictures, so everybody has to suffer, which is, like, the most uh. pathetic way to explain it. It would have been hilarious if there was, like, some kind of homebrewing or some kind of, like, hacking of the system where you could still make, like, custom avatars. Yeah. And, uh, Man, Ubi le legitimately Ubisoft took away my ability to fucking uh, make that one pa make one panel from the uh, the forbi the forbidden off brand anime uh, comic about the girl who doesn't like her appearance and is wearing the pigtails and the glasses. I cannot make that my profile picture. Ubisoft, you hacks. I mean, honestly, you can't let me. You what cannot they deny me my anime waifu. This, and what were you saying, Galactic? Like, honestly, the best way to do something like this is just have it so that when you put up an avatar, have it so that something on the site analyzes the image you chose. Yeah, it's not and like then it's just like image verification systems. Those things have been around for for literal decades. Yeah, it's just like you know, th like this whole obscene avatars thing isn't a problem. Just put some verification in it, well, and to it's, implement you know, that, that would you get to, it's like no, but it's like you know, you get to kill two birds with one stone. People aren't irritated at you because you did the stupid crybaby cop out of just turning the whole thing off, and you don't have to deal with people putting vaginas in their fucking Uno avatars. Yes, but Logic, listen, that requires money to implement, and that might prevent the CEO from buying a third yacht. Right. Dude. Listen, I talked about this- I mean, can't he uh, just, like, lay off, like, 50 people instead? They're already doing that anyway. I oh. talked about this, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I was like, I hate- large big budget companies nowadays because they get cocky not only are they they get cocky they put out subpar products and they expect us to put up with their shitty business practices sony almost did that with hell divers too i remember Jeez. hearing about that fucking christ it's like it's weird to see how delusional corpos can get because it's just like surely you're not so dumb as to actually believe that you have in any way become big enough to be untouchable. I don't know why I don't know why corporations are attracted to this idea that they can just do shitty things. Because it's just like you're never going to be untouchable. Like every time you make a decision, that decision can piss enough people off to sink you, so why chance it? Because they have to have money. You have We've to come to have money. I mean, well, I mean, like Sony's boneheaded decision with fucking yeah. Hell Divers Two hasn't gotten them any more money because now a bunch of people in a bunch of places can no longer buy their game. Yeah, that's money refund. they're not getting. The and the refunds. When, when that happened, uh, when they put out their announcement, where it was like, we we uh, we're still oh, evaluating shit. what's best for players. Um, people were like, oh, they listened to us, and I was like, no, 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 let me tell you what this actually translates to. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you for not letting us implement this decision. We hate you. We hate you. We will make you pay for this later. Wasn't there something about them doing the same thing still for, um... Blocked from buying it, by the way. Yeah, but well, wasn't there something also for Ghost of Tsushima? Uh, I believe there was something for that, yeah. I can't remember what the exact controversy was. I think they're making you do like have a PSN account in order to yes, play like the uh, online mode with that. Yeah, to play the uh, to play the uh, Legends mode, which I will not be fucking doing. I mean, I'm not. Regardless, I'm not playing Ghost of Tsushima for the fucking multiplayer offering. I'm there to play a fucking. Uh, I'm there to play a fucking old timey samurai movie. Get fucked. <laughs> yep. That's I'm here I'm to play today. Seven Samurai the video game. You dickhead. <laughs> And it's like, oh no, I it's oh, like, oh no, I don't have online access to it anyway. <laughs> I don't have online access for one of the best crafted single player uh, video game experiences of the past decade. Oh well. Mm. Like, like I, 
I've just been tuning off a lot of like online games nowadays and just playing a lot of single player games because it's all filled with live service bullshit. Same. Mm. The I was I was trepidatious about Helldivers 2, then I played it. Except for Sony's fucky wucky, which is 100% on Sony's part, Arrowhead is doing live service yep. correctly. Arrowhead is yeah, doing it, it right. Helldivers 2 has shown me that, you know, you can do this live service stuff without becoming a greedy nickel and diming shitter. I mean... And still the... make... And, you know, still make decent comeuppance from it. Like, My you can thing. win, you just have to be a bit more fucking patient and create something worth paying for. Yep, and my favorite thing is what that the legitimately, fuck hit me? you know, did I think the that? butterflies did. Was it the butterflies? Butterflies hurt you? Hang on, let me try hey, something. I... Where are the butterflies? What Where are in they the at? Fuck? Are, they the op are they the ops? I don't it's know. To a that was fucking um, weird. That was really weird. Um, yeah, no, when uh, when uh, everybody was like, Yo, Arrowhead, you're doing a fuck decision. Why the fuck are you doing this? The community manager on their Discord was like, No, this isn't us. We didn't... This is Sony's decision. We didn't know about this. Um, get them. <laughs> Fucking yell at them. Demand a refund. Make... You know what? Change all the reviews to negative. <laughs> the community manager from Arrowhead Studios said... Fucking review, review bomb our own game. Do it. Yeah. Wasn't Didn't she get fired, fired that? after that? Yes. Thanks. Yep. Fucking. Hmm. Fucking big corpo can never just take a loss, can they? They always have to be like, no, we have to feel like we gained something, so I'm gonna fuck That's up this person's life just because I was wrong. It's it's so stupid too because after like you know you heard about how like uh, with Suicide Squad killed the Justice League right? <laughs> tells it me. bombs so hard with its live server is bullshit, and yet the one of the corporate CEOs of uh, Warner Brothers Games is just like, yeah, I know we made a bunch of money on like uh, Hogwarts Legacy, but and. And like uh, Suicide Squad's looking to be more of a disappointment, but we need to have more games like Suicide Squad so people are more engaged long term. And it's like, dude, they weren't invested. Like, they were not engaged in Suicide Squad. That's the complete so, opposite. Like, okay, so I just want to reach out if somehow they're ever gonna be like in this stream. But like, fucking to the two people who found any amount of significant investment in kill the Justice League. How? <laughs> Where is it? We need more games to keep people invested long term. Motherfucker, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, the original game, still is still around. going strong. Like what? Like what, two decades later? Yeah, it's been around like, longer than TF2, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, a game, like... A game I'm really into now, called Sky Children of the Light, is like... it. You, you guys have heard of Journey, right? Yes, yes. So, Sky Children of the Light is made by the same people who made Journey, that yep. game company. Literally their name. And I love it. It, like, it's a free, it's a free-to-play game. Big multiplayer world. No dialogue. Everything's, like... Damn it. it has that Journey patented, like, environmental storytelling. And, like, you know, body language and stuff like that. A very fun experience. I'm loving it. I've yet to be put off from playing it, and even it has some kind of mini-season thing, but that's not... I don't know, it's not super acquired. It's not jammed down your throat or anything, it's kind of just there. And sure, the game isn't super action-heavy, but I'm still finding it a fit more... I'm still finding it an infinitely more fulfilling experience than killing the Justice League. Yeah, but they wanna they wanna muscle in on the fucking Destiny and Call of Duty crowds and they're never gonna be like Destiny. Up. Destiny isn't even like Destiny anymore. <laughs> like, I don't think they they understand. Like, what was one of the best live service offerings in like the past like two decades? And I can name two of them, other than Helldivers Two. Mhm. Mm when Destiny first came out, pretty damn good. They had some good offerings. And the other gameplay was fun. Good. Nice okay. repetitive gameplay loop, and Mass Effect 3's multiplayer. 
So, I'm sorry to interrupt the conversation. Uh, I do want to wrap up the stream. Because I like, because okay. there's no way I'm going to be able to get 70 stars. Like, I've streamed for quite yeah. a while. Basically, this is just, you know, hilariously, haha, Mario's got a shotgun, and, uh... Fun. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude, that rap... <laughs> Frickin' rabbit. God, it's making noise again. <laughs> Lay off the coke! <laughs>